Parashat Shlach, after the stories of the Muraglim and the Mapilim, of the spies and those who tried against God's will to go into Eretz Yisrael, Torah shifts into mitzvot. And the mitzvot are preceded by Ki tavo when you will come to the land. When you come to the land of your dwelling. And the Ramban already points out that this is a means of appeasing the people, of comforting the people. After all, they have just gone through the trauma of the spies. They've just gone through the trauma of attempting to go to Eretz Yisrael and have been turned away. They've heard that they are 40 years in the desert. There is no hope. And now, kitavau, you may not be arriving, but your children will be there, your grandchildren, your great-grandchildren will be there. But the question that I want to ask is, what are the mitzvot that the Torah chooses to place here? Because the Torah could have placed the mitzvot of mitzvot atliyot ba'aretz, those mitzvot which are dependent on the land, trumot, ma'asrot, the gifts that we give to the kohanim, the gifts that we give to the poor people in our fields. But the Torah chooses to talk about the korban mincha and the nisuch hayayin, the libations, the grain offerings, the mitzvah of chala, that we should give part of our dough, not part of our crop, but part of our dough to the Kohen. Why are these the mitzvot that the Torah chooses to comfort Am Yisrael with? And I think the answer lies in the fact that these are mitzvot that do not deal with the crop directly, with the perot ha'aretz, the fruit of the land. After all, the Meraglim saw the fruit of the land and they were unimpressed, impressed by the fruit, but not by the result. Ephes, they said, but we cannot conquer the land. The people, when you see the fruit of the land, you look at the here and the now. And the here and the now is not something which the Torah wants to stress at this point, because the Torah is talking about the potential, what will be. And when a person looks at not the offering of the animal, but rather the animal, the offering of the grain, the grain which has been turned into flour, the flour which will turn into dough, which will be given as challah, the grapes that will turn into wine to be put on the Mizbeach. The Torah is saying, look at the potential. Don't look at the here and the now. And the potential is something which is uniquely human. People are able to see the future. They're able to take a glimpse and see what the potential will be. And to turn that into Avodat Hashem, that's not uniquely human. That's uni that is uniquely religious. But to turn what is given to God and to turn that into Bevoachem el Eretz Moshvotechem, when you come to the land which is yours, that is something which is uniquely Jewish. Shabbat Shalom.